OK, let's do something else with Matthew. Um, one of the things we can do is to um, move along to the next tab in the inspector and look at the uh, uh, the ruler one, uh, metrics inspector it's called. And we'll bring that down here and click on Matthew. And what comes up is the name of the file for the start. Now, you can't change the name of the file in this, unfortunately, uh, even though you can click on it if you uh, make any movement doesn't seem to work. So that's a bit of a, uh, a fault I reckon because it's good to uh, be able to identify the files on your site. So uh, anyway, you, you could sort of find the root file and drag it in from the desktop but it's not really worth it. You can change the size here to a pixel width if you need a particular pixel width. Now generally you don't but there is one that you do and that is when you put an icon on your podcast it has to measure 300 by 300 otherwise they just it falls apart when it goes to um, iTunes so 300 by 300 or or larger it says but I think 300 by 300 is where it should go and uh, so when you do that just remember that you can constrain the proportions so you can change that means that you can change that to say 500 and when you press enter because it's constrained the proportions will stay the same and he'll look much the same uh, anyway, we'll go back to uh, 300, and the proportions will be the same. You can uh, click it to its original size, which is enormous, and we don't want that. So uh, the um, um, command Z, which is the one for returning it back, which is very useful, I might say, in edit, I think it is. Um, undo command Z. You can undo uh, multiple actions in this. You can go backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards. So as long as you haven't um, uh, quit out of the program, you can go back to what you were doing. Now, where we go from here, what are we going to do? Well, you can position it uh, in very specific locations, but I've never used that. I always just drag it and do it by eyesight. But the nice thing you can do is to rotate it slightly. So, um, for instance, now he's rotated. And so is his image here. I'll get rid of this arrow. That's pretty garish. Um, I'm not very good at design, by the way. Uh, so, uh, which you'll notice when you go to my site. <laughs> well, you've already been there because you're looking at this. So, I'm, I'm crap at design, so I'm sorry about that. But um, anyway, if you want to and you want to rotate it a bit, I reckon that's... Uh, quite a nice thing to do, rotate it even just marginally to make things look a bit better. Another thing you can do is to hold down the command key um, while you're doing it, which is the flower key, go to one of the corners and you can rotate it like that, does the same thing. And that way you can kind of see what, what you're doing. Either way, works really well. And that's a really common thing throughout the graphics programs on Macs as well. Uh, one of the great advantages of Max is that they keep things common. You can flip it completely, so he's now facing the opposite direction. You can turn him upside down. Because we're in Australia, that's very apt if you're looking at it from that way. Um, so, And once again, you can do the Control z and see everything I've done is going back to what it was before. Not Control z sorry, uh, Command-Z. So that's a pretty good tab. And the last one is links, which we'll do in the next one.